Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Zainab Ahmed and I will discuss our project Periodontal Microsurgery. Microsurgery uh, a surgery uh, performed under magnification may be using gloves, may be using microscope. And by using this microsurgery and periodontics, we have precise surgical procedures. The advantages improve the quality of inpatient care, high magnification range and brilliant illumination, increasing precision, improved ergonomic benefit. Of course, it's more comfortable for the surgeon for its various postural and method to help reduce unwanted hand movement in more precise surgeries, which reduce occupational pathology. Improving overall dental care, provide an open field for a surgery so that the microsurgical instrumentation is possible. Using smaller instrumentation help in increase precision delivery of surgical skills, which result in more accurate incision. incision. Small needles and suture permit precise repositioning of tissue. Also, it uh, promotes fa uh, faster healing and have smaller surgical wounds. The disadvantages Education requirements it requires surgical technique, understanding of optics, long uh, adjustment period, and initial increased surgical time, of course, the high, the high cost, limited uh, surgical access. The application Non surgical periodontal therapy and the surgical. The non surgical Improve the ability of dentists to perform prophylaxis, the detection and removal of calculus, improve the ability and to detect color difference between calculus and normal tooth structure, improve visual acuity, allow dentists to efficiently angle a cavitron tip in three-dimensional space so that tip contact calculus precisely, increase acceptance by the patient, and improve uh, the root surface by improved smoothness of road surface and uh, definite removal of calculus. This case of 18-year-old female uh, that had an acute uh, attached gingiva on the labial aspect of the mandible, right and left central incisors with recisions. Uh, the initial treatment uh, with the instruction for plug control followed by thorough scaling and root planing. Surgical periodontal therapy. First, the periodontal plastic therapy. Include the root coverage procedures, uh, the aesthetic smile line, and the entire papilla preservation. First, the root coverage procedure. The success of a root coverage procedure involves a traumatic surgical approach, the history of surgeon, and excellent uh, visualization of operating field. All these factors can fulfill using the surgical microscope. Like this case, this uh, patient has a canine recision, and this photo is after uh, during uh, during the uh, procedure. Uh, using uh, connective tissue graft and suturing then this is the photo after eight weeks after healing aesthetic smile line abnormal uh, smile line may result from number of causes including gingival recession abnormal eruptive pattern incisor wear and excessive tissue growth of various etiology. The creation of an ideal aesthetic smile with harmonious gingival contour involves symmetry and lip position and relative uh, gingival levels of adjacent uh, teeth can be accomplished by microsurgery. This patient uh, has have altered passive uh, eruption uh, covering teeth uh, crowns and this Immediate microsurgical post-operative result, and this is the post-operative healing at three weeks 
uh, as we see the patient now established aesthetic smile line entire papilla preservation in this technique an interdental tunnel is made uh, through defect associated uh, papilla by giving a bubbled vertical releasing incision in buccal gingiva of the adjacent interdental space after graduation tissue removal uh, and deployment regeneration material as bone graft and the uh, de derivative are applied and the suturing this technique uh, the primary advantages uh, is uh, enhanced wound stability limited uh, and limited uh, premature exposure of uh, regenerative bio materials in this case uh, the preoperative view with congenital missing laterals and loss of papilla in this case the impressure is wide uh, which facilitate facilitate uh, the procedure and this the uh, post uh, operative of five days as we see the stitches can be readily noticed it has been immediately uh, penalized by localized necro uh, necrosis of the tissue and this is the result after three months uh, a scar can be seen at the base of the papilla corresponding to the necrotic zone uh, of course this uh, result after uh, final restoration have been placed Regenerative periodontal. The advantage of microsurgical approach and regenerative therapy related to improve elimination magnification of the surgical field permit proper access and deployment of infra pony defect with increased accuracy and minimal trauma. As we see in this uh, case, the left uh, view is the buccal view of primary wound closure with uh, fine suture thread af uh, after modified papilla preservation flap. The right view is the occlusal view of the same site. Uh, note the intact mucosal surface of the delicate call area. Implant In adequately keratinized tissue around the implant neck is the most common problem. In uh, five years evaluation of, of uh, the influence of the keratinized mucosa on peri-implant, the author occurred that uh, when keratinized mucosa is less than 2 millim, uh, plaque accumulation increase with more soreness and more decision occur on the buccal surface. As we see in this case, showing recision and metal color. This leads the surgeon to add more keratinous tissue to the implant neck and or repair the recision. This case, repairing the recision by connective tissue graft and suturing in place and this is the post-operative result after two months. Recent advances. In microsurgery, include three-dimensional uh, on-screen surgery system, allow three-dimensional view of working surgical field, on video monitoring and uh, obviating the need of direct physical visualization, HDTV single camera 3D system. The comparison between MIS and traditional. Uh, the key selection of MIS is an ideal site for bone grafting using MIS is isolated, usually, usually interproximal defect that does not extend significantly beyond the interproximal site. And the traditional uh, generalized horizontal or multiple interconnected vertical bone defect are the best handled and uh, with more traditional surgical approaches. The incision in the MIS is designed for more conserve as much of tissue as possible. Uh, the incision should be made as separate incision and should not be continuous across the interproximal tissue uh, as in uh, the other periodontal surgery. The tissue reflection 
and the flap elevation the elevation in my ass is uh, utilize the sharp dissection only with care and papillary tissue can be thinned to be thicken thickness of two to three millimeter and the small flap are reflected uh, while in the traditional uh, uh, the comparatively is broader instrument are used so occur affect the wound healing uh, and the visualization in the MIS has more magnification and more uh, illumination uh, while in the traditional uh, the visualization of the surgical site is compromised the deprimant the deprimant or uh, the small surgical opening in the MIS limited the instrumentation that can be used to remove granulation tissue uh, while in the traditional the granulation tissue is removed better uh, and about the placement of the craft material is the same in the MIS and the traditional the wound closure in uh, the MIS we using uh, suture are smaller like 6 to 0 to 8 to 0 uh, in size, blingant or monoflamed uh, polypropylene uh, suture used for optimal wound closure and smaller needles uh, allow more precise approximation of the tissue edges and the healing takes uh, less time. While in traditional, using 3 to 0, 4 to 0, 5 to 0 black uh, braided uh, silk suture, it is used and the healing takes more time conclusions the main leverage of microsurgery over my conventional uh, surgical technique the preservation interdental papilla which is the keystone in the preventing attachment loss the latter adverse effect is the essential uh, component of the aesthetic problems formation of black triangle and the uh, gingival resection associated with conventional periodontal surgery. The use of magnification and illumination tools during the microperiodontal surgery provide better visualization to the operator, hence significantly better deprimment for deep pocket over conventional. Despite the aforementioned advantage of microsurgical technique, however, they require high skill and technically demand uh, together with high opera uh, operational cost for the patient. And thank you.